while the deal's going on, I guess what I'm trying to say is if, if I was selling my house, then I wouldn't want to be investing in my house knowing that somebody else was going to buy it. So but, but, yeah. where, where does the money come from for the current owner knowing that someone's about to buy an asset from him? Um, well, that's one of the reasons why it would be, we personally would like to, if the deal's going to happen, it happens sooner rather than later. But we are just carrying on as, as we always would do. I mean, we're fortunate at the minute. Obviously, Ivan's been sold. Um, we got a decent draw last night. So that's that, you know, that, that keeps us fluid for, for a while. So, the but, since, but, but since we've been putting the money in and, and we've had to put a considerable amount of money in, you know, last month. So, yeah. So the Ivan Tony sale, that money can, to, can be used to keep the club running. If you look at Chris Wilder's squad, then. It's, it's quite simple. There's no disrespect to the players that have been brought in, but at the start of the summer there were players coming in on three-year contracts. Now there's free agents coming in on one-year contracts. Does that reflect the fact that his transfer budget has had to be cut because of the situation with the takeover? No. I mean, what you do is you hit your main targets first, which are the boys on the three-year contract. They get done, and then the squad gets filled out. Every other football club does the same thing. Nothing, Nothing's changed. Um, Chris's budget is competitive enough. We've got the best team, I think, for years. Um, no, there's not. That's just, uh, you know, if, if anyone thinks that, then that's that's just totally wrong. Totally wrong. Budget is what it is. You know, everyone knows we always have a very good budget. You know, you can see the players that we've got. They're not cheap. Um, no, that's not. That's completely, that's miles away from where we are.